The next thing I'd like to talk about is being happy with what you have. I think on some level, uh, the vast majority of people are grateful for at least something, even if they don't think about it every day. My suggestion to you is make a list of everything you're thankful for. Food, shelter, water, family, YouTube, the internet. Make a comprehensive list. Add to it every time you think of something. I don't care if you're praying to God or if you are just simply making a mental note. It doesn't matter. As long as you are bringing these things to your awareness, then you are making leaps and bounds towards reaching a sense of fulfillment and consequently being the best person that you can be. I think when you're truly grateful for everything that you have and you really think about it, and that's your habit, it gives you the power to forgive with such ease and to have an increased desire to give to others in compassionate ways and to appreciate yourself and really have a more concrete feeling of self-worth. It also plays a key role, I believe, in making all those little things that you sweat over. The best way that you cannot sweat the small stuff is by consciously being grateful for everything you have. Everything I am talking about has to do with awareness. You're bringing things that you don't think about because they've become monotonous. Suddenly, by questioning them or thinking about them, bringing them up back into the forefront, when you do that, you have a greater appreciation. I think it's just really refreshing. You need to find a balance between questioning yourself and creating self-doubt. I've had some really bad experiences with this where I questioned too hard. I didn't have something that was really giving me a stable sense of self-worth. So I was questioning all these things and it really just sent me into this spiral. I want you to avoid that. The final thing I'd like to talk about is finding motivation. You're going to be brought down probably time and time again. Get distracted about what you originally wanted. This relates to experiences that people have when they set goals. They get distracted. They decide that they didn't actually want that anymore. They talk themselves out of it. Which is why when you first set the goal, you make sure that it's something that deep down you really want. And my advice to you is eyes on the prize, baby. Eyes on the prize. You're going to often get caught up thinking about those bad things that people said to you when you were pursuing your goal. Oh, maybe this just isn't right for me because I failed so many times. Nope. <laughs> Can't think about those things. you got to keep your eye on the prize. When you're playing a sport... You don't take your eye off the ball or you're going to miss. So don't take your eye off the ball. just want to quickly mention a couple of few things to wrap up here. Maybe at the end of every day or something, or when you're in a particularly difficult situation perhaps, you're in this mindset, suddenly break away in your mind's eye. Go above yourself and look down. Think about what you're thinking about. Label the thoughts that you're having. I'm never going to get this job. Okay, this was a doubt. These people think I'm stupid, a worry label these thoughts and suddenly more and more you're going to realize that you have complete control over these thoughts and you don't have to have them you can have whichever thoughts you want last thing don't put too much pressure on yourself you think oh gosh i want this so bad if i don't do it i'm worthless no you can't do that you can't put that kind of pressure on yourself it's going to be that much harder when you know that that's what the stakes are. You'll be preoccupied with the stress. So you got to find some other reason to believe that you are worth it. And let me tell you something, you are worth it.